Time now for the morning rush. We're taking a live look over New York City where thousands are gathering this morning to remember the nearly 3,000 lives lost 17 years ago in the September 11th attacks. A day they will read the names of all of the victims who died after terrorists hijacked four passenger planes, crashing two into the Twin Towers, one into the Pentagon, one coming down in the Pennsylvania field back in 2011. On the right side of your screen here, locally, Bernalillo County firefighters are paying tribute in a moment of silence for the more than 300 firefighters who were killed when the towers collapsed. Let's take a live look at that scene right now and take a moment of silence as well. Our brothers and sisters in public safety made the ultimate sacrifice that day while attempting to save the lives of others. We honor those brave souls by remembering their courage, duty, and honor by serving this great country here at home. And that was Bernalillo County Dispatch Center saying their tribute on all fire control channels this morning. Again, Bernalillo County firefighters saying at attention for a moment of silence. This is at the time that the first plane struck the first tower on this day, 17 years ago, September 11th. Later on this morning, Albuquerque firefighters will participate in the annual 9-11 stair climb. Firefighters will climb the stairs of the U.S. Eagle Bank building. They will begin their climb at 846. They will simulate the 110 stories that uh, represent the Twin Towers, the towers, again, that the firefighters perished in 17 years ago today. Three chimes right there are ringing out throughout downtown Albuquerque this morning at Sacred Heart Church, all marking the 17th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Now, below the bell tower, inside the chapel, are two steel beams from the 78th floor of the World Trade Center towers. Now, they were pulled from ground zero after the attack. Kristen? A mostly sunny sky for the majority of the state today. We're just going to be watching for a few spot thunderstorms over the mountains. A straight shower possible elsewhere, but we continue with the mostly dry conditions and those above average temperatures through midweek. On to a health alert for you this morning. State health officials now encouraging people who visited a downtown spa to get tested for HIV and hepatitis. The Department of Health shut down the VIP spa after a customer got an infection. On Friday, inspectors stopped by the spa and found practices they say could spread bloodborne infections such as HIV and hepatitis B and C. Officials now urging anyone who's received what's known as a vampire facial or any other injection related procedure at the spa to get tested as soon as possible. Well, today, President Trump will speak at the observance ceremony at a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania that is now a memorial site. 17 years ago, Flight 93 went down in that field after being hijacked on 9 11. 40 brave passengers and crew members realized what was happening that day and tried to storm the cockpit. All were killed. Now, 40 wind chimes are installed on a tower there to symbolize the voices of those who died. Vice President Mike Pence is attending a ceremony at the Pentagon. Albuquerque Public Schools hope a judge will put a stop to the PED's changes at a struggling school until the case can go to trial. The district came up with proposals to improve grades at Whittier, Los Padillas, and Hawthorne Elementary. Secretary Christopher Rosowski denied the proposal for Hawthorne Elementary. APS appealed, saying it's in violation of the Every Student Succeeds Act. We now know the identity of the infant who died after the crash involving a semi and a Greyhound bus on I-40. An update on the GoFundMe page for the twins delivered prematurely after the crash confirms that twin Jordan Rose died. Now, her brother remains hospitalized currently. Now, the twins' mother, Christy Westerdale, who was seven months pregnant, her boyfriend and four-year-old daughter were on the Greyhound bus late last month when it crashed with the semi near Gallup. Kristen? Metro threat index only added one watching for a stray storm does not look to be an all day rain event. We're going to see a ton of sunshine, dry conditions and warm temperatures in the upper 80s. Crystal this morning, you can help the family of a New Mexico police officer. That officer's son is fighting leukemia. Last year, officer Ladio Canales, teen daughter, was diagnosed with leukemia. He recently saw another family going through the same ordeal. Anthony Heady is an officer with Artesia Police. His six-year-old son was recently diagnosed with leukemia. Officer Canales went from store to store, and in three days, he's collected more than $1,500 in gift cards. There's a GoFundMe set up for the Heady family. Go to alwaysonkrqe.com. The Santa Fe Film Office wants to rent former film sets out to local filmmakers, and this is because it does not have enough space to store them. Now, the Santa Fe Film Office says when filming ends, 
Tearing them down could cost tens of thousands of dollars. Now, Witt tells us the county is currently looking for county buildings they're not using to store some of those sets. Kristen. Time now for a check on traffic. Everything moving smoothly right now. I-25 and I-40 both at posted speeds at the moment. Also have a look at the big eye. Everything looks good at the uh, hour, but of course we're going to be taking eyes on that throughout the morning and provide updates as they come in. Now for a feel-good story, a worker at Wendy's caught a customer's attention. It's getting a lot of attention this morning. Her post on social media so shows Richard Wise Atwood serving a blind couple who'd come in to eat. In her post, the customer writes about how Richard took care of the couple, placing their food so they knew whose burger was whose, and checking on them frequently. Good job there, Richard. Yeah, pretty inspirational. Final check on that date planner. Temperatures in the 60s to start, but 70s by lunch. We don't even stop there. 89 as our forecast out. We've got sunny skies, light winds, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and high pressure in control. There is a few storms trying to get up this afternoon out over the mountain areas. Will it be a lot? No, and I don't expect these to be severe either. We actually welcome those storms because hopefully they drop a little rain on the western side of the state and the higher terrain, but we are locked in with this high pressure, so it's really not going to be a whole lot of exciting weather. This week, today's cheat sheet shows temperatures in those 80s and 90s. Sunny skies on top for most and some spotty storms over the high country. Time now. We start with number five here. More than two dozen wild dogs found on the Mescalero Apache Reservation now being prepped for adoption. The 30 dogs were discovered on Highway 70 a few weeks back, so a dog shelter owner decided to rescue them. The woman made an agreement with the family that owned the dogs to take 25 of them and give them a second chance at life. She then received a grant from the Bissell Pet Foundation to help with the dog's care. At number four, an Artesia police officer's son fighting leukemia is getting a helping hand this morning from an Albuquerque police officer who experienced the same situation. APD officer Ladio Canales saw our story on Artesia officer Anthony Heaty's family, then went from store to store collecting gift cards for the Heaty family. Canales stressed that this is not about a story about two officers sharing the same battle, but about two fathers bonded by the love of their children. At number three, seven day shows plenty of sunshine in our seven day here in Albuquerque. Not likely to see storms either. High temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s with overnights holding steady in the 60s. Number two, now state health officials are encouraging people who visited a downtown spa to get tested for HIV and hepatitis. The Department of Health shut down the VIP spa after a customer got an infection. On Friday, inspectors stopped by the spa and found practices they say could spread bloodborne infections such as HIV and hepatitis B and C. Officials are now urging anyone who's received what's known as a vampire facial or any other injection related procedures at the spa to get tested as soon as possible. And at number one, remembrance ceremonies around the nation and here locally will be honoring the lives lost 17 years ago today in the September 11th attacks. At Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Barelas, the bells will toll, and they did toll at 6.46 this morning to honor the victims lost that day. The church has a tie to the attacks in New York. Two steel beams from the World Trade Center Tower make up the bell tower of the building. Now, the bells again rung at 6.46 this morning, and that was the time that the first tower was struck.